Starbucks, they fire their um, baristas because they fought off a robber. Hell of a thing here. Put up the picture full of mans. So these guys are heroes. They saved the day, all right? This is in St. Louis. Two Starbucks employees who jumped in to prevent a violent would-be robbery have been fired. Michael Harris on the left and Devin Jones Ransom, not pictured, um, fought off a robbery suspects, a robbery suspects, both Joshua Nope and Marquise Porter Doyle on the uh, right last month. So let me give you some details. So this happened Sunday, December 17th. Uh, two men walked into the coffee shop at 212 South Grand Boulevard in St. Louis, all right? Carrying what appeared to be guns and telling everyone in the store to get on the ground and give up any valuables they had on them. However, when the 37-year-old Joshua um, of Potosi struck a patron over the head with the supposed gun, the gun cracked, okay? Realizing then the men are not actually armed, the would-be victims turned the tables on the would-be robbers. And attorney for Harris says, he was struck in the face, leading to a struggle. Harris complied with the robber's demands until it was no longer an option for himself and others, says Ryan Krupp, who represents the former Starbucks worker. Krupp says that after being struck, Harris realized he needed to take action or risk being killed. Quote, I just wanted to do the right thing as a person, as an employee. Harris said in a statement, Harris, Jones Ransom, and other patrons fought back, eventually managing to subdue Noe until police arrived. The alleged accomplice, Marquise Porter Doyle, 35, fled the store, was later apprehended. Combined, they both are now facing more than 20 felony charges for robbery, attempted robbery, and assault in the local circuit court. So the efforts of the two baristas and the Starbucks patrons were widely covered in local media. Praise for their quick thinking and for proving once again that even the type of city resident who pays $7 for a latte is not someone to be messed with, okay? Uh, Starbucks apparently, they didn't see it the same way. So last week, Harris was fired. Jones Ransom has been fired as well, quote, Michael and Devin were promptly fired by the company without any explanation as to what, if any policy they violated, or what they should have done differently about the situation, Krupp said in a statement. He goes on to say that Harris had been outspoken about safety concerns at the store, which Krupp um, suspects may have been the motivation for the termination. Krupp said he and his client are planning to take legal actions against Starbucks. So let me explain this. It's called premises liability. If you have known adverse actions that could lead to harm or damage to another human being, you provide zero additional security measures in order to stop the uh, would-be threat or the ongoing threat, but you have warning of threat, you now have a premises liability claim. Because the company, well, they have a responsibility to make sure you're safe, especially when there's, when there's an issue that has been filed or logged on record. Uh, reach for comment, uh, Representative Starbucks said, quote, the safety and well-being of our partners, employees, and customers is always our first concern. All partners are expected to follow our carefully crafted protocols to ensure the safety of customers and partners during these situations. Um, uh, Laxman, um, let's put up the uh, CEO, Starbucks. So he says, um, yeah. He stands by it, obviously. And it's interesting because uh, who crafted the well, uh, how do you put it, well or carefully crafted protocols? Because, sir, if you are a part of crafting these protocols, you couldn't fight yourself out of a wet paper bag. The <laughs> man was hit on top of the head with a gun, okay? 
Whatever your training policy may suggest you do, when was the last time somebody cracked you on top of the head with a gun? Everybody got a plan, Doc, until they get punched in the face. All right, Wozni. This is a hell of a thing, man. These individuals will celebrate as local heroes. All of a sudden, Starbucks does one of the greatest PR disasters of this year, and they decide to fire them. I mean, these are these guys are exemplary employees. They, they went above and beyond the call of duty. All we hear all day, every day, Dr. Richie, especially if you watch you know, mainstream news is about the apathy of the worker. Oh, these workers don't want to come in and work mm. for this. They expect the world, blah, blah, blah. Young people, they don't have a work ethic. These guys showed so much character and heart and bravery and the idea that they would be punished rather than rewarded for this this bravery is absurd. And I think, man, this story is going to get around and they're going to get their just due because they certainly deserve it. Very well said.